Okay, last week on Friday, I showed you how to make two pinch pots and be able to put them together and be able to create a, um, a sphere, softball size. Um, it's okay if it's bigger. We don't wanna make them too small because then it's gonna be very difficult to put your design on. And we just wanna make sure that we are like any of the stress cracks that we have those all smooth. Now, this is where we're gonna figure out where we want the bottom and the top, okay? My sphere is a little bit, still a little damp, okay? So I think I'm gonna have that be, so this is gonna be my bottom area. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll out a coil Okay, try to get the coil the same thickness all the way around. Okay, then I'm going to get a tool. I'm gonna to make a foot on mine. So mine is able to stand on its own. So I'm gonna cut it off. I'm going to trace the inside so I know where I'm going to be making my score marks on the outside of that since I trace the inside. Get some of my slip, paint it on the top. Move this, make sure you guys can see. And then I'm going to hold the ball, squeeze it just a little bit so I don't smash it, and then I'm going to blend in my coil that's going to be my foot. Okay, so you're going to have to hold it and blend it. I'm going to do this on the inside and outside because you want it to stay. And make sure you blend that area where it's connected. Okay. And then you'll need to come around and take some of your slip and slip that in there. Make sure you slip it around. You don't want to get it too wet. That's the last thing you want to do. Okay. And then you may need to use your finger to kind of smooth all that out. Any stress. There we go. And give it a little tap so that it is flat and it's going to stay that way. And then as it dries, we're able to smooth more of this out. But if you get it really, the slip painted on there, you may not have to blend in on the outside, but you have to keep it nice and neat, like that little piece right there. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna get it out. It may be dry clay for all I know, okay? All right, so next what we have to do is decide on the lid. Now, it is a lot easier if you do take your pencil and design your lid before you cut it. Now, as you're designing, if you want to have like drops, teardrop type things, don't do this. See how it's really small here and really big here? That's not gonna come off, all right? 
So that's why we want to do it lightly so that we can erase it with our finger. Don't do it heavy and leave a mark on there forever. All right, you might just wanna do something simple. All right, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a circle. Now, do you see how I'm cutting this? I'm not doing it straight up and down, I'm doing this at an angle. And I'm dragging the blade as I'm turning it. Now, I don't want mine to be perfect circle. I want mine to go down just a little bit. And there it is. I think my clay is too wet still yep so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make that cut disappear and that's okay because once I do get the cut I can go back in and mend the inside all right, so, but I can go ahead and start lightly drawing what I want my design to be, whatever it is that you're going to whatever it is you're going to do. Now you don't want to push too hard. You don't want to poke through. If you get these like little clay boogies on your pencil or whatever it is you're using, just wipe it off. As this dries, we'll be able to use a, a dry brush to brush these things away. You can poke holes, but don't poke all the way through. You are able to take I have little loop tools up here and you're able to scratch off. I mean, you're able to do anything that you want. Um, just make sure that if you have a design that you are actually going with that design. And I actually, I think it's actually easier to use a pencil. So I don't know what your design is, but Think about it. You've been working on things. And this is gonna go all the way around, even at the top. And it actually might be easier to cut it after. Um, you can go ahead and figure out where, you, where you're going to cut. So you can stay away from that as you're making your, actually you can make it a little bit deeper than the rest of your incising your carving and everything, okay? Just be careful of squeezing the clay. We don't want any stress cracks. If there are, you can smooth them away. Also, if you decide, you know what? I wanna make this a little more three-dimensional and I think some of my areas I want to add clay onto it, you can, okay? You'll just need to make sure that you slip and score and you're blending it. Okay, and you want to do this as neat as possible because everything that you do, you're going to have to come back in here and clean it up. Okay, so just take your time. Make sure that you are covering your entire sphere. Make sure you have a plan of action and um, have fun with this because I think these are gonna be pretty cool. And you can also go ahead and sculpt your handle on the top. Um, so that way it might be easier when we do cut the clay and it's not as hard 
Um, obviously my clay was a little too wet to try to take off and that's okay. Live and learn, it's what it is, okay? All right, so you guys can go ahead and get busy. Please ask me questions.